Good morning, everybody. Good morning. As you can see, we got a horse and buggy. This is Paul Damon, Nicaragua Real Estate Team. And today we're going to do a quick tour around uh, Granada. Uh, here in front, you see Edgar, a tourist guide that has been working with us for many, many years. And we have Paco up front. And this is our buddy, Silver. Look at our little beautiful horse, Silver, who's going to help us doing a tour today. We started early so as to not to stress too much the horse. So let's go and take a tour. I love that sound. The couple sound. ¿Dónde vamos a empezar ahorita? Ustedes saben mejor cómo manejarlo. So here we're passing Garden Cafe. As you can see, it's a very quiet morning so far. Okay, we are in the San Francisco convent and this is the first church uh, made in by the Spanish people. Uh, we have seven corner churches. This, uh, the face basically is uh, in two sections because it was the first church made in by the Spanish people. Uh, remember how they built back in those times. It was made by wood and kind of uh, clay uh, material, but Granada during the time was on fire different time. So basically this church, it was on fire several times. Uh, inside the interior, you can discover some uh, bodies, how the, native, how the native people look like. Uh, according to the history, native people, we are not really tall people. Uh -huh. We are people between 160, 170 approximately. Uh, is a description how the, the native people look like the body conditions. Okay. Also, it's a, it's a beautiful inside, it's made with woods, some of the art, the decor, and also we have uh, the company in the other side. Right, which I have still not been able to go to. Okay, uh, this is El Convento, no? Yes, yes, sí. it's the convent. Okay. Okay. Also, the exit way. The exit way actually was uh, on the way to the lake. The exit, you mean for everybody, if they were uh, uh, fighting, they would exit to, towards I, the light? I mean for Spanish and uh. the, 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 the priest. Okay. And, uh, and everybody who is around them. Right. Yeah. Well, it's uh, the official information. Some people, uh, they believe it was the way to, you know, take like personal things and going in to another place. And here's our fire department in uh, of Granada. Only one. Only one fire. Yeah. No, three. There's three. We have three. Oh, three departments? Three like this. We have this one, we have uh, oh, another one uh, in La Villa, and we have another one uh, near to the highway. Oh, I've never seen it, those. Okay. It, it, it's supported by different organizations. Spanish people from Spain, sorry. The other one is for the German cooperation, and the other one is um, from another country from Europeans. Yeah. Paco, ¿cuántos años llevas haciendo esto? 20. So Paco has been a cochego, I believe that's how they call themselves, for 20 years. Eh, este tipo de carruaje uh -huh. es de un, de un caballo, sí. es, es tradicional, es de dos, uh -huh. pero yo, este tipo de carruaje había desaparecido en Granada, uh -huh. entonces yo rescaté. Uh -huh. la volvía a incorporar a la ciudad uh -huh. 
Berlinas. Berlinas. So his cart, since it's with one horse, is cart Berlinas, and that was the original way uh, in the past that he was able to find a uh, Berlina, so to speak, uh, that uses basically one horse. So this is uh, for in the 20s, people with money, he goes with a lot of money, this was their mode of transportation uh, and this is uh, one of them that he was able to restore. Ahí como siempre sentado. How are you, man? Are you? Hace tiempo. <laughs> El primera vez que lo hacemos y digo, qué bonito día de hacerlo, ¿no? It's a perfect day. So if you're looking for antiques, this is one of the places I would recommend that you come to. But you have to negotiate. Sorry. I said that. <laughs> I know them. If you look to your right, yeah. you can see one of the beauty houses from Granada. This is a little bit uh, different than the center. For example, you see like the wooden on top uh, right. over the door, and also they are a little bit more tiny uh, windows. Small. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a little bit. It's a depend how um, the, the social class. You know, in the center of the town, you're gonna be a bigger doors and bigger windows. Uh, more also, stately. Exactly. More windows is look, look like it's a bigger family also, but with better status. Here, it was a little bit outside of the town back in that time. Also, this house was used during this the the, the war between William. Uh -huh and the civil war back in that time actually you can see in in the movie some uh some parts of the movie william walker somebody living in there or is this just a museum or uh, what is this it was a museum it was a coffee shop and also it was a a, a store that they sell uh, antiques uh -huh. yes okay. but it, it is already closed at the moment okay so that is from the 17th uh, 1700s Cuando le pegaron juego a Granada, que le, como, Tres o cuatro veces le pegaron huevo a Granada. Ella siempre sobrevivió, nunca la alcanzaron al campo. So when Granada was burnt uh, 17, in the 1700s, uh, three, four times, this one was never, never touched. Uh, the fires never reached this place. So that's a good piece of history to know. Dale. And there's a fruit vendor selling fruits door to door. It's a beautiful day, huh? Also, if you look uh, both sides, you're gonna see Granada is really colorful. <clears throat> Some people ask, and they want to know, they want to know why Granada is so colorful. But it's part of the history also because. Uh, late 18th century, in the beginning 19th century, uh, the majority of the houses are painting with uh, just whitewash. Yeah, white clay. Yeah, 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 exactly. white, yeah, a, yeah. It was a white color, basically. But we have a guy who come, uh, Mario Favilli, uh -huh. who, who, from Italy, Italy, who introduced all the colors. Yeah. So the color back in the time was, uh, in the real beginning, was expensive. So just uh, people who has more uh, possibilities they buy the colors and this how it starts you know like colors like the green that yellow and colors right. like this but later the colors start represent the social class for example like yellow color 
uh, is somebody re related with uh, religion. Really? Can okay. be like a religious person, can be a priest, somebody yeah, yeah. according to religion. Also, um, the pink and the red look like somebody who believes like in the white magic, you know, oh, ah, okay. things, things like this. And the green color represents like somebody with a better status. The green and the blue. Wow. So with the time start mixing and now everybody can paint. Yeah, everybody paints the way they want. But was that regulated if you, uh, in those days when they were using yellow, was it regulated? So In, in the real beginning, 19th century. Right, okay. And here we're in, uh, this is Parque Salteva, no? Yes, this okay. is Salteva. Hey, this is a uh, Halteva church. If you see, it's a little bit different. This is more neoclassic design. Uh, all the churches can be a little bit different in the town. And the reason is, remember, Granada was on fire different times. So uh, they start to rebuild once again uh, those buildings because they are the principal buildings. Um, also, if you see both sides, we have uh, a little bit back. We had the Palenque, who was the market back in that time in 18th century approximately also we have uh the port it's over there yes in the background yes the palenque mean like uh like a little market okay. but remember back in those times we don't have money we used the, the trade we exchange our product for example uh or something important for barter us. trade you're calling it barter trade yes so i, I have tomatoes you got potatoes we we'll exchange yeah, for we that can, we yeah. can exchange you know you yeah. give me something i'm gonna give it to you something so yeah. principal for us was like the cacao the choco uh -huh. and also um the corn uh i don't know if you listen about nikas we are hijos del maíz, the son si, si. of the corn, uh -huh. because it was so important in our history. So, also uh, in the other side, we have the park, Halteva, in honor to the tribe that we have. Those walls you see both sides of the street is from east to the west. If you see, we have a little level going down to our left in that moment. The principal reason is the Spanish people build because the rains was so much back in that time. All the water going down to the lake. But remember, we have Lake Nicaragua straight, straight in the bottom. For example, something really interesting, if you look uh, carefully straight in the end, you're gonna see those houses are similar, 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 right. except those two ones. And there, there's a reason behind it? The reason is because they changed with the time. But back in that time, in 18th century, 19th century was like how, where the forces, the army forces was in those uh, uh, corridors. Mario, there's a church with the blue and white way. Uh, what's the name of that church? Maria Auxiliadora. Maria Auxiliadora. Y ese también es una escuela, ¿no? Y también a la par está el colegio Don Bosco. And there is also a school there called Don Bosco. Okay. okay. That is the youngest church that we have here in Granada. Okay, it's uh, one that uh, it started in 1910, approximately. Okay, so it's Gothic Italian style. So it's very, very different than the other churches. So it's the Italian Gothic style. Awesome. Su diseñador era un sacerdote que se llamaba José María Misieri. Okay, so that was y done by. Uh, oh, y él vino con Favili? Sí. Ah, eso es la historia. Sí. Uh, the reason I said Favili, Favili is a video I did of the stonemaker in town and he brought a bishop. Archbishop uh, to uh, Granada, and that is the church that they built. It's an amazing amount of history here. Huh? Also, we have a replica one made with marble in the cemetery. A what? Exactly, uh, a replica of this. Ah, a replica. Okay, so yeah. it's uh, at the cemetery, right? In, in, in the entrada. Como a 200 meters, right? Like 200 meters. Well, yeah. you know what about the. We never know much about the. Uh, what is that area called? Uh, the fort? Yeah. Well, esta. Uh -huh. Aquí está 
la patrona, la Virgen, la patrona de Granada. Ok, so the Virgin Patronage de Granada. of la, Granada is la here Virgen in the... La Virgen de la Asunción. It's called La Virgen de la Asunción. Sí, okay, perdona que no, a veces. Sí se llama. Okay, la and Virgen that is the Asunción. name of the Virgin that is here, and she represents Granada. Que se, su fiesta es el 15 de abril. And her festivities or her honor is October. Ah, August. Oh, August 15. El 15 de agosto se celebra con un hípico. Yeah, una caballos, salida. Sí, okay. Eh, Okay. okay, so on the 15th of August they do a procession where they take the Virgin out and they have a hippica which is a horse show and a whole bunch of other activities to honor the Virgin. Hi sweetie. Hey sweetie dog. Yeah. Okay, can I get some more? Where's mine? Listo. Listo jefe. Okay baby, no todo más. Vamos, no. Okay. We're not going to the polvera, but way at the end of this street is the polvera, ¿no? O como lo dicen ustedes, polvera. Uh, y uh, qué es la historia ahí, dame un, un resumen rapidito, qué significa eso. Uh, ok, la, la pólvora es uh, straight in this way, straight right. in the bottom, the white, white building is straight in the bottom. Way in the back, yeah. Yes. Um, this building was uh, basically a fort, it was the place where Spanish people save uh, um, ammunition, gun, uh, powder, gunpowder. Gun powder. Gun powder. Gun powder. Yes, exactly. I'll help you. You help me with my Spanish, brother. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> so, uh, you know, they, because the heat and also the ma manipulation, how they uh, control uh, this ma material, uh, they, have a, they have a explosion and destroy all the interior of the building. Basically, the floor is just the building outside because the interior is like destroyed. Totally because destroyed? It okay. has a big explosion in the middle. And was that during the war or the uprising? When did that happen? Uh, approximately 1950. Approximately. And was that on purpose or was that something else? Uh, it was. Some people say because the heating, you know, the, okay. the, the okay. weather condition. Okay. Yeah. But uh, something curious about this building is it's one of the highest point has several towers because it was like the best uh, position to check it out. That is what it's here was. Okay. Yeah. And that is the Dutch consulate. <laughs> of course, that's just a sign, but yeah, I'm going to. Okay, let me turn. Are we still on the salte, huh?
Okay, welcome to La Merced Church. It's one of the beauty churches, in my opinion, the most beauty in the town. Uh, I get married here. So, to me, it's something like really special. This, uh, Quite a bit of history. This building. This, if you see, they have a big, big, big tower. The La Merced Church it was made by the Mercedarios. It was like kind of congregation, religious congregation. Also, this building has like, how uh, do you say, caracol? Like some stair going up oh, yeah. straight. Um, yeah, the staircase is a spiral staircase that goes all the way up to the tower bell. Yes, and you uh, have a 360 view from the town, the yeah. volcano, the lake, you know, like it's, it's a beauty uh, angle that we have. Yeah, and, and to do it now is the best time to go up that uh, staircase because there's almost nobody there uh, during the... Yeah. Also, this church have uh, two uh, divisions. The front is a uh, Barocco, and the, uh, this part is a little bit neoclassic. And the reason is also because it was on fire back in that time. But the ta this uh, tower also was destroyed because they uh, hitting with the canyon. You know, during the Canada. Civil War, you know, destroy basically and they reveal once again. This, this why has like two uh, formation of uh, construction. It's a Barocco and also a new person. Do you uh, remember the year that uh, church uh, got built? Approximately. Paco, ¿qué es el año que se hizo esa iglesia que se comenzó en la construcción de la iglesia? Esta, ¿sabes? Aproximadamente. Aproximadamente esta, es que lo que pasa es que la reformaron. Ah, ya. Ya, ya. Porque inicialmente fue, esta iglesia viene siendo de 1700 y... So in the 1700s, sí, but... Sí, it, 1726, pero de, como se quemó, le hicieron esta misma. Yeah, and so... La it, torre también, yeah, la it, torre la, se borrumbó, uh -huh. porque había en el tiempo de la guerra, pero no en la guerra de... No, 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 la, sí, de no los en españoles. La guerra, eh, de, de William Walker. Ah. Fue en otra guerra y entonces había un cañón, un cañoncito en la iglesia de Jalteba. Ajá. Y aquí había un francotirador que los estaban matando a todos. Entonces de allá tiraron para acá para que se, para que ustedes se den por un voto a la. Ok, so there was a person in the tower shooting people. And then at the other tower at Salteva, they had a cannon and basically shut the guy, but they took the tower out. I mean, I tell you, there's some unique history here in Granada. Gracias, Paco. Y ahí está el famoso Hotel Real La Merced, ¿no? Sí. Muy, yeah. And there is uh, the hotel, uh, Real La Merced, and we also have done a video there. It's a beautiful hotel. It's well worth the visit. Ah, that was the staircase. I didn't know that. I know they have a, a spiral staircase of marble, and Favili uh, did that. And uh, I did a, a video of the Favili family, which I will link to this video so you can see it. Este antes, antes era de una familia San Pierre. Esa, esa. Casita. <laughs> Pero esa gente se fue yeah. y se cayó, y sí. no es borrumbando. Yeah. Entonces pues la compró un, grana, un granadino pirumeño. Sí, de Dirium. Lo, cono <laughs> lo conocemos muy bien. Sí, sí. sí el doctor, lo es conocemos correcto. muy, muy bien. Sí. <laughs> Él la compró y. Bueno, ahí está vale la historia. No, no, un, una cosa Era muy bonita. Para Granada, porque para Granada. Sí. en el centro de la ciudad. Sí. Y, what he's saying that uh, this was owned by a large, well, by a family, and then they left, and this building uh, fell apart, so to speak, and it was restored by a granadino from Diriomo, uh, which is the uh, a local doctor or sandigo, uh, is the uh, person that had the vision to restore uh, the hotel. Hay una historia ahí de esa casa. Pues esa casa es, desde que yo tengo razón, es de un chamor. Ya. Este, y le pusieron el grande, entonces le, pues, le, le puso Castillo San Miguel. Ah, okay. Pero es de un chamorro y todavía sigue siendo de los, 
de la familia. Yeah. Well known families in Nicaragua, yeah. the Chamorro family. Yeah. And, and the Chamorro, one of the family members was also the alcalde, ¿no? De Granada, ¿no? También. Uno, uno de ellos, ¿no? Sí, alcalde y son la gente que eh, están entroncados con los penas porque se, se casaron. Ah, ok. Pela, entonces Pela Chamorro yeah. y son la gente predominante de dinero y de empresas. Yeah. So there are business people and they, uh, one of the kids got married with uh, Bella and that's how you create a dynasty. It's true, I mean, you know, it's a fact of... Yeah, yeah, the power brokers. Vamos, Silver. <laughs> so guys, this is our first trip that we ever have taken uh, and I tell you, I've always wondered how it feels, but it's a great history lesson. You see Granada from a whole different angle than walking, and you give an opportunity for uh, two of our local uh, experts to talk about some of the history of uh, Granada. And here we're coming by Café de las Sonrisas, uh, and this is the deaf mute uh, restaurant that is run by a person called Tio Antonio, a lovely person. If you have never met him, you should. Oh, and they do, if you're looking for a hammock, it's a must go to place for a hammock. Uh, it just so happens we bought two of them yesterday uh, to help out a little bit and give them out uh, to friends. Yeah, uh, I'm coming, and this is Central Market Street. And there's your famous coconut uh, person, just then. You remember him? Ah, esta también. So this house is a Chamorro property and this one here was built by one of the Chamorros. And here, this is where the Pocheros usually start from, but we asked them to start from the office. Uh, to give you uh, everybody a little bit of a pointer where we're at and this is Central Park. Yeah, we'll do that at the back end. We'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, mucha gente así es. Yeah, and here is Morenga's. Uh, Morenas, I'm sorry. It's our other restaurant that we have reviewed. It's a great place to have breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Morenas. Uh, I said it wrong, but no. And here we're going to come by another restaurant. It's called uh, Picholine. Uh, and there is Dana's house down the street. 
Dinah. I'm sorry, Dinah. You shouldn't have said it. You pointed it. You're on the news now. Yeah. Yeah, we're one block from the carousel. But to Malinchi. Telling the horse to go slow, go slow, now speed up a little bit. So we can go up the hill. <laughs> you did good. You, you suddenly found somebody that loves his horse. If you see here, once again to your left, those houses have like similar condition that uh, yeah. we're talking in the beginning. Right. It has a big beam, wooden beam right. on top of the door. Right. Here are a little bit more tiny than the biggest house from the center. Right. Sí, pero no te preocupes, no, no, te, no, no te preocupes. Sí, no, la cosa que yo quería hacer es solamente una introducción general para demostrar qué bonito es para hacerlo. Y después yo iba con él a hacer de cada iglesia, ¿me entiendes? No de quitar de usted. No, no, ¿me entiendes? Yo solamente estoy tratando de dar una introducción en general de, de Granada, de las iglesias. Y después hacerlo más específico. There is Panda Vida. I'm working donuts. Huh, never seen that. But they're closed. Come on, guys. It's uh, 8.40. If you're selling donuts, you should be open, right? <laughs> and look here. We have a listing right here. Sorry, no real estate, but I'm going to promote it. It's a beautiful house. And, yeah, and this is the school. Hay algo de historia de esta escuela o es sí, una. Esta escuela eh, la hicieron en honor a un profesor que se llamaba Carlos Brown. Carlos Brown. Ajá. Este es una escuela pública. It's a public school sí. made in honor of one of the teachers, Carlos Bravo. Sí. Ve, eh, como él vivió por aquí, Ajá. entonces en honor a él la hicieron. Ajá. Y entonces esa es la historia de la escuela. Yeah, yeah. So it's just, uh, and it's a state-owned school, but it was built in honor of Carlos that used to live in this street. There's really not much other history about it. Okay, again. That's just... Rápido and furioso. Uh, right after this, we're going to have breakfast. We're coming over, Gail. Oh, yeah. Ya regresamos para el desayuno. Para que lo tengas listo. And here you have the uh, Hawks Breath Saloon. Oh, poker on Sundays. I don't play poker, uh, but Dana does. Wow. Yeah. So down there is toward 
that's the lake. We're not going to go there, but that's basically the lake side. And here you have Hotel Granada. It's very quiet, even though it's the holidays. It's a pity. Okay. So we are in Guadalupe Church. It was built in 1626, approximately. 1626, okay. Uh, one of the things that if you look carefully, this, the front is completely different than in the, the, the back part. And the reason is because they were they was using as a fort, you know, to protect the city. Something interesting that is not really mentioned in the books is back in the time during, uh, when the Spanish people arrived to the town is the water level of the lake, it was almost touching the floor of the church. So, so how, you, what's the difference? ¿Cuánto era la diferencia? Metro, ¿sabes? Perdón. Uh, I mean, from here to the lake, we have a, approximately 300 meters, 400 meters. So we're 300 meters from the lake. So, <clears throat> in the real beginning, the water was basically touching the, 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 the church. Wow. The, the, that means the lake is a little bit smaller than, than, than in the beginning. And the lake, the size of the lake is approximately 8,200 square kilometers. Yeah. So imagine the lake was huge, huge back in that time. Yeah, and we're at a elevation of 225 feet right here. So down there, it's I think it was like 180. That's a heck of a height. Yeah, that's a lot of water. Bigger difference, but a lot of water. Lo único antiguo, solo el centro. The only thing that's truly uh, uh, old or original is the center, original, not the sides. Original. Or, or original. Sí. Ese campanario y las campanas, las campanas las regaló Mario Moreno Cantín. This was given by Mario Moreno Cantinflas. Cantinflas. Sí. Mexico. Oh, the guy from Mexico. Mexico sí. Yeah. Porque, porque él la yeah, he donated the bells. <laughs> Eh, sí, dime. sí, él la regaló porque como él la vivía, tú sabes, la vivienda de Guadalupe es mexicana, Ajá. entonces él vino en 1966, entonces fue que la regaló. Yeah, 1966 he came here to give the bells. En la guerra de William Walker, Ajá. Eh, había como 40 filisteos metidos en la iglesia, entonces vino, la gente le pegó juego y por eso se la quemaron. Y se murieron todos los filibusteros de William Walker ahí. So, William Walker's uh, uh, fighters were inside there and the community came together and burned down the church with those uh, 40, approximately 40 uh, fighters inside of there. So we're heading back to Central Park and uh, it's going to give us a quick tour here. This is the Calle Libertad that we're on now. <laughs> she she put her head down right away when she saw the camera on the kid and she said don't take a picture so I took a picture. <laughs> okay. I the fact they had a swimming pool outside. Oh, okay. No, Constructed by uh, John. Mm 
It's a totally different feel when you're sitting here versus in the car because of the height. You, you, you see it slightly from a different elevation. Oh yeah, I have more time to look. That's all totally right. Now this is La Calzada again. Guy is seasoned. Does that sound uh, correct? Yeah, that's uh, La Calzada is the main uh, uh, entertainment district. And here we're getting into our street to go to the office again and to La Calzada. This is Avenida La Sirena. Sirena, okay. Otro italiano. Otro italiano. Pues, ¿cuántas familias trajo uh, Babini? Muchas, ¿ah? ¿eh? Los Pelas son italianos. Ah, no sabía, ¿no? Sí, son italianos los Pelas. Ah, I didn't know that. <laughs> Did you know that? No sabía. No, no, no. Sí, sí. No. <laughs> Ah, 
and of course I'm not gonna plug but I'll do a really bad plug here here we're at our office so if you need anything real estate I'll give it for one second we this is our office right here right next to a.m. p.m. Okay, guys, so we are at the end of our tour and Paco is going to give you his personal phone number so you can call him when you need him. Dame el teléfono. 8875-2911. So if you need anybody to give you a great tour with a lovely horse that is very well maintained and taken care of, Thank you, Silver. You did an awesome job. We really appreciate it. Y te lo apreciamos mucho. Y hasta la próxima vez. And he has five of these babies. So if you have a large group, uh, you know, don't bunch in with 20 people. Ask him to bring five cars and he will give you a lovely tour of Granada, which he will be assisted by our friend here. Let's do the other church. Let's go do that one. Okay, yeah. Okay, this is the, the cathedral, the main and the biggest uh, church in Granada. It was done approximately between 1915. 1915, okay. 1915, approximately. Uh, it's a beauty. Actually, in this moment, the people are painting, making some arts, you know, like yeah. a sign from Jesus and the Virgin. Granada is a, is a religious uh, city, religious town. Also, we have a this corner. The cross, the cross of the century, it was built in 19, in the beginning 1900. So Granada has a population approximately 130,000 people. It's a small town, but keep the tradition and conserve, you know, like kind of like uh, part of the, 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 the history, you know, our festivity, our religious. We have the next week we have uh, Semana Santa. Si, Semana so Santa. It's going to be yeah. the biggest uh, celebration. Fe festivity, also. yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, um, just a quick uh, question. On all these churches where you have the towers, can you go into all the towers? Uh, we have three options. We have the cathedral, this one, we have La Merced Church, uh -huh. and we have Alteva. Uh -huh. All you have the access and you pay a fee approximately like $100. One, one dollar per, yeah. per person. Great, right, great, right, great. Right. Okay, let me do a shot with you here. Edgar. I uh, want to thank you. You want to say something? Give your, your company name and your phone number so people can call you if they need your help. Okay. Hi, everyone. I'm Edgar Gomez. I'm a tour guide. I'm a local operator in the town of Granada. My phone number is 8902-499. It's my cell phone. And also, WhatsApp, yeah. Yeah, also we have a, I have a WhatsApp the same number. Yeah. And you have cars, you got small vans, and um, you got large vans. We, have, we can help you with uh, some transportation, right. also coordinate some tours from the visitors going, uh, visitors coming in and coming out from Nicaragua. Yeah. Uh, we have uh, cars, trucks, vans, buses, you know, whatever you have. Whatever your need is, correct, correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, Whatever and Edgar has always picked us from the airport uh, late at night, early morning pickups. When he, when you tell him three o'clock, guess what? He is there a few minutes before. He has never, ever, ever been late except one time, and that is when he had a ponchado tire, uh, yeah. which is a flat tire. You know, things happen, and he did call. So, guys, he's highly recommended. Thank you, Edgar, for your help as always. Great tour. We had fun. Thank you. Give your number again. Uh, 89 In English? 89 Sorry, man. I had to do it. Sorry. Thank you, Edgar. Thank